The Mackinac Bridge is one of the world's most beautiful bridges. The five mile long bridge, otherwise known as the Mighty Mac, links Michigan's lower and upper peninsulas. It is the third longest suspension bridge in the United States and the 12th longest suspension bridge in the world. Ground was broken to build the Mackinac Bridge on May 7, 1954, and the bridge opened to the public on November 1, 1957. Before the bridge was built, you had to cross the straits by ferry. Typically, a fleet of nine ferries could carry as many as 9,000 vehicles per day. Traffic backups sometimes stretch 16 miles to Sheboygan, Michigan. Year-round boat service across the straits had been abandoned as impractical because of the cold winters that would often freeze the waters across the entire straits. The idea to build a bridge was brought up in as early as 1880, but no one was quite sure how to build it. After the opening of the Brooklyn Bridge in 1883, local residents began to imagine that such a structure could span the straits. In 1884, a store owner in St. Ignace published a newspaper advertisement that included a reprint of an artist's conception of the Brooklyn Bridge with the caption, Proposed Bridge Across the Straits of Mackinac. Construction started on May 7, 1954, and it took three and a half years, four summers, no winter construction, at a total cost of $100 million and the lives of five men who worked on the bridge. Contrary to popular belief, none of them are entombed in the bridge. It opened to traffic on schedule on November 1, 1957. The main bridge cables are made from 42,000 miles of wire weighing 11,840 tons. The two towers reach 554 feet above the water surface and 210 feet beneath the surface to bedrock. To accommodate the temperature changes, high winds, and changes of weight on the Mackinac Bridge, the deck can move right or left as much as 35 feet at the center span. Normal movement is much less and not obvious to vehicles crossing the bridge. Since opening, two vehicles have actually fallen off the bridge. On September 22, 1989, Leslie Poolhar died when her 1987 Yugo plunged over the 36-inch high railing. A combination of high winds and excessive speed was initially blamed. Later, an investigation showed that the driver had stopped her car over the open steel grating on the bridge's span. A gust of wind through the grating blew her vehicle off the bridge. On March 2, 1997, a 1996 Ford Bronco went over the edge of the bridge. It was later determined to be a suicide by the driver.